Simple present explained. Hey guys, this is Thiago for the English Den and welcome to another video. This channel is designed to help you improve your English, so if you're new here, consider subscribing, all right? This is gonna be a three-part video series in which I'm gonna talk about and explain the simple present structure in the English language, all right? Um, in this video in particular, in part one, we're gonna talk about two things basically. We're gonna talk about when the simple present is used and how it is formed, all right? Uh, and then more towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some examples of phrases, of sentences, just to illustrate uh, this structure, all right? Before I get started here though, let me just go ahead and ask you right away to click the like button for me. That helps me a lot here on YouTube. When you click the like button, it lets YouTube know that this video is nice and more people should see it. So uh, I thank you in advance for clicking the like button for me, all right? So let's get started here, the simple present. So uh, point number one, yeah, when is the simple present used? Um, we can think of three different situations in which we can use the simple present. So first, we can use the simple present to talk about habits or routine, all right? Habits or routine. So for example, if I say, I wake up at 7 a.m. every day, this is a simple present sentence and I'm talking about a habit that I have. It's part of my routine. I wake up at 7 a.m every day all right also we can use the simple present to talk about things that happen in general yeah so for example i could say people usually work from monday to friday you see this is something that happens generally right people usually work from monday to friday all right again that's a simple present sentence Finally, we can use the simple present to talk about, let's say, facts of life. You know, by facts of life, I mean things that are always true. You know, for example, if I say, we need water to survive, that's a fact of life, right? This is something that is always true. We need water to survive. Um, again, it's a present simple, it's a simple present sentence, and I'm talking about a fact of life. We human beings need water to survive. So these are the three different situations in which we use the simple present. We can use the simple present again, to recap, to talk about habits and routine, things that happen in general, and facts of life, things that are always true, all right? Now, how is it formed? How is the simple present, how is the structure formed? Um, it helps for us to think about a very basic formula, okay, to create sentences. Uh, think of this formula as having only three elements, subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. By following this basic formula, uh, it's going to be much easier for you to create sentences, to come up with your own phrases, all right? So, thinking of subject, verb, and complement, when you think of subject, um, just think of the pronouns, you know? I, you, he, she, we, you, again, right? Because you is, a, it can be plural, and they. So, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. So these could be subjects, all right? If not the pronouns, you can also use people's names, like John, Bob, Bill, uh, Paula, Jennifer, you know? So you could use people's names or uh, the pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, and so on, all right? So um, after the subject, you, you think of a verb, okay? Uh, it could be an action or some, or just a verb, yeah, that is not necessarily an action, but it's a, a verb, yeah? <laughs> and a complement, right? So after the verb, you need a complement. So for example, I could say, I play games. You see, I play games. This is a basic sentence. It is in the simple present, it's affirmative, and I'm following this very basic structure, yeah, the basic formula. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, in this case, I. 
verb play and complement games I play games another example could be you eat pizza again subject verb complement you eat pizza all right never use uh, verbs alone you know just subject and verb alone without the complement yeah uh, it's not good to do that so never say for example I play okay you play what oh I play games you see that's better or you eat eat what you eat pizza yeah so uh, by thinking of complements to your verbs uh, your phrases will become more complete all right so I have a series of sentences here now uh, in the affirmative simple present structure I'm gonna read them to you and just uh, listen and see how simple and how easy it is to make these sentences to create these sentences so here we go I play games you eat pizza he goes to the bar she studies English at school it barks in the morning um, imagine a dog for example yeah bark yeah bark is the sound the dog makes yeah so it barks in the morning all right um, pay attention here because he she it we make a little change to the verb yeah we add an s es or ies to the verb so i say he goes to the bar i don't say he go yeah i say she studies english i don't say she study all right it barks in the morning not it bark all right so for he she it in the affirmative uh, sentence we make this little change don't worry about that so much now because in part two I'm gonna talk specifically about this change yeah for he she it but for now just know that we make this little change here and then I'm gonna go into more uh, detail in the next video okay uh, moving on here with our phrases we have we dance at night you watch TV they make cakes okay so these are some examples of sentences in the simple present and they are all affirmative all right and they are all following this basic formula subject verb complement all right now for you to make these sentences negative it's also very easy it's very simple all you need to do is add the words don't or doesn't okay so the formula remains the same the formula remains subject verb complement but now you're gonna add don't or doesn't after the subject so now the the formula for negative sentences becomes subject don't or doesn't verb and complement all right so I have some sentences here as uh, examples so listen and pay attention all right I don't play games you see so I, I can say I play games that's affirmative to make a negative I just add don't after the subject I don't play games all right you don't eat pizza he doesn't go to the bar she doesn't study English at school it doesn't bark in the morning we don't dance at night you don't watch TV they don't make cakes so the same sentences but now negative form all right um, by the way I shot a very nice video um, about the pronunciation of the word don't okay if you're interested in checking that out uh, you can click right here on the card and then you can watch that video where uh, I teach you a very specific way you can pronounce the word don't in the middle of phrases like this I really recommend you check it out all right so that's about it guys all right we have some examples here of affirmative sentences and the simple present and negative sentences and the simple present all right so just to recap we use a simple present to talk about habits or routine all right 
things that happen in general and facts of life, things that are always true. Remember that follow that basic formula of subject verb complement to maker sentences, okay? And for you to um, make the sentence into a negative, all you gotta do is follow the formula subject, don't, doesn't, verb and complement, okay? Uh, and also remember that in the affirmative sentences, he, she, it, the third person, we make that little change in the spelling. We say goes, starts, barks, drinks, okay? But we're gonna talk about that more specifically on the next video, all right? So guys, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you liked it. I hope um, it helps you with your uh, journey, yeah, with English. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button for me, please, again. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you can uh, receive the updates when I post new videos. All right. So guys, um, that's it for today. I'm Thiago for the English 10. Thank you very much for watching until now and I'll see you on the next video. Happy learning.